Hey guys, welcome to Carnage's channel. Today we are officially reviewing this 2008 The Incredible Hulk Abomination figure. This isn't a part of the set, the set. But this figure is absolutely amazing. Um, for poses, this guy is just an absolute poser. He does have some good articulation. There is one big main big gripe I do have with this guy with the articulation. And I will get to that now. But the arms go all the way around. They can go out that far. It is on a ball joint. But it does have a hinge. So it does get stopped by that bit there. He has muscle articulation. So you can get a good range of pose. So you can have his arms in and out. And get into the arms. He does have a hinge with a swivel which is really good and the same with his hand he has a hinge as you can see there a little rivet in his hand it does have a bit of range well a lot of range which is really what I really like about my figures he does have an abdomen crunch you can go that far forward so it is pretty limited but you can go all the way around and if you really want to let's twist his whole body around for his legs he has thigh movement, he can kick his leg all the way out. He does have knee articulation, it does go forward and back. But it is hinged with this massive leg joint here, his muscles. But his toes kind of make up for that because you can kick, you can swivel his toe about and you can just get it on that slight slant which is pretty cool but the figure itself in general is absolutely amazing um, the massive gripe I was on about is his head it is and it's not an up and down you know a normal ball joint it does have this side to side it's quite limited they could have done so much better with this figure they would have had so many people buying this off the shelves um, so yeah, so you can rotate it all the way around. That's all. That's the articulation for the head. But the sculpt of this figure is absolutely amazing. Um, just the detail they have in his face. I don't know if you can see that. But his spines. There is another figure that has the button on his arm where you push and the spines retract out. But I like this one because this is just before he gets even mad, like with the Hulk as they fight. But for size comparison, if I can stand him up properly, is Ironmonger. And this is Ironmonger, uh, uh, Iron Man suit, his suit first, well, first suit that was remade for the enemy. And he currently is about six inches so it is quite a big figure to go along your other figures if you are a collector it's definitely worth getting you can stand him up a bit more but I prefer to have him like that because he just poses a bit easier and his body tri distributes the weight but um, yeah so thank you guys and Please leave a like and subscribe and keep an eye out for my next videos. Thank you very much.